I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Hi, this is Michael Uslin. You're listening to Batman on Film. I'm vengeance. I have given a name to my pain. Hey, Batman on Film podcast, Batman Dash on Dash Film.com. I guess I would say this is a like one of these old school emergency podcasts, emergency social hours, because uh, we're going to react to some of the Batman news that, and I'm talking about Batman in general, but specifically the Penguin, uh, Batman Cape Crusader, and a uh, little bit of the absolute Batman stuff that came out of San Diego Comic Con. 2024 which is still taking place today but sunday uh now you two if y'all want to go i got i got javi javi and uh, pete here oh yeah oh yeah both big, big weekend BF. big weekend i know that both of y'all have told me i believe that going to san diego comic-con is a bucket list thing am i right about that 100 yeah. 100 I, I, like yeah. yeah. I would go if i were y'all i would go for the i'd go and i'd hit it on thursday morning and sunday if you want to see the comic if you want to go and just walk the convention floor and check out the comic book stuff and the artist and all that you know all that kind of tip yeah. stuff yeah every, that is stuff every con i've been to sunday is like the chill day where you can have a little yeah. more time to like talk with like the people you're there to see i and... still want to see the chaos though like i want to see the absolute shit show that is san diego comic con like i just, because... I just you know like i'm very curious now because okay. i've heard you talk about it around superman returns and how that was kind of the changing point uh um, that was right. like the last i was at a bar i was Comic-Con. at a bar in the gas lamp district probably a half a mile from the convention center and was going to see a superman returns panel Mm -hmm. at like three o'clock and left and walked there and walked straight i didn't even have a pass from warner brothers for that one and walked straight into hall h sat down and watched um uh richard donner brandon ralph and uh what's his name skippy mc 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 greasy pants what's his name the director brian (laughs) singer greasy pants brian singer okay yeah brian singer uh talk about batman returns uh batman returns superman returns god no they didn't talk about batman returns i wouldn't have gone to that that'd be an interesting eight. conversation yeah it would be <laughs> I, and I wouldn't have been there to listen to it okay but um, you can't do that anymore apparently like you know like i i think the no. worst it's ever been honestly was that year bvs was announced people were sleeping outside well, like, hall h and oh it's well that was going on for several years they were uh you had uh people camping out yeah they started doing that hall and, and, hell no that, no, before there was I, any was, real bad blood towards Warner. Brothers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So well, everyone was, was really it wasn't united. just <laughs> it wasn't just for Warner Brothers. They, you know, it was. Oh no, they, you get the they got in there and they just they got a seat and didn't leave. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I luckily yeah. I I had so I got I back I had passes to get in, uh, VIP passes from Warner Brothers. So I was there for that BBS when mm-hmm. they first showed that first clip and. I think a couple other things were going on, but hell, I hadn't been in 10 years. I know I'll never get into Hall H. Like, I know that's not a realistic expectation and it's not something I really want to go there for. I'm, I'm, I just like conventions. I'm all about vendors and seeing, you know, see if I, what action figure I could pick up or I don't know uh, what rare book is there. Maybe I'd buy a wall book or something. You know, it's, it's more about comics and toys and the convention than it is Hall. Yeah. That's why I say third, go third, go Thursday and Sunday. My, I mean, because literally, I was so, you know, I'm trying to chill out, but you know, last time I get so aggravated because you couldn't even walk in hall. I mean, not and on the main floor. You it was I mean, I mean where's the fire code? It, it was it's sardine and people are, I mean, 
That was. Yeah, so but I, I imagine when you're there and not a, not uh, not aware of, you know, they're just act like a bunch of assholes you know it's just it's no i'm at the danny glover point of my fandom where it's like i i'm too old for that stuff i'm not i'm not waiting out in in line for anything yeah but the guys like when you're seated and you see something that really hypes you up and you're the first person to see it you know with that crowd you're going to get that adrenaline rush and that reaction and you'll cheer you know like it's i'm sure there's nothing better as as a fan when when you you know just see that announcement live and in person i'm with you i'm not sleeping out there (laughs) i like yeah i like sitting i like on saturday sitting in my office and waiting for stuff to drop almost immediately on the internet and we have it it oh now we have it like so easy i mean back in the day I mean, I remember I was following El Mayimbe's Twitter account and waiting for him to basically <laughs> tell me what was going on. You know, yeah. um, Umberto's been doing this basically for years. So like, that's kind of how I was getting yeah. Comic-Con, let's say 2015, in the Twitter age. It was, And then yeah. before that, you're waiting for either your website to post something, superhero hype. You know, you're waiting for those websites to post what happened in San Diego. So now we have it really great because now they're like well, they had right, trailers here we're going to get in front of the leak at least yeah you know, so yeah they had they would show exclusive i don't think they even show anything exclusive anymore maybe you're, you're there for the panel but like the penguin thing it was just you know the 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 footage they showed was this third trailer and then it was boom it was online as soon as it finished yeah, yeah. showing it at, at comic-con that's how they I get ahead of the leakers like we're gonna get on the we're gonna get on the on the on the move here but i i will say I've often wondered, I know back in the day they saw oh, pirating and all blah, blah, blah. I don't know why they don't do like a virtual con where people can buy a ticket. Like and, fandom? You yeah. know, <laughs> and, and see the, I mean, see like panels and whatever for a, yeah, I mean, a, a I, I wouldn't pay more than like 15 bucks to virtually just see what's happening in Hall H, to be honest. You know? I'm not paying like a pay-per-view price. Like this isn't like a fight or anything. Um but uh you know for the right price i'd be interested in you know paying for a feed of hall h yeah i mean I, also i gotta be honest with you guys i kind of miss the old days when someone would post a, a, a cell phone video from a, of a flip phone you know oh, so it wasn't God. the best quality it was you know it's kind of great yeah. you can see it. there was some fantastic four stuff that a friend sent me uh of like the the hall this h year? the little yeah the little did promo he put like his showed. thumb over his lens just to give it a smudge so it's old school <laughs> Okay, I miss before we get into Batman, I I want to ask you both of y'all saw uh, Deadpool, Wolverine, Wolverine, Deadpool, whatever in the hell, you know, 220, yeah. 221, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Uh, Luke's just baby. I am not going, I have no interest in it. You have no interest all. in anything. <laughs> I, a few things. And the, 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 the stuff I do, I have a lot of interest in. That's it. Wolverine and Deadpool, I do not. I am not a They're... Marvel person. There is 25 years of homework to go see that movie. I'll tell you that, which is not your thing. (laughs) I was talking to a buddy of mine who is like, like from back home, father, no comic book guy whatsoever. I don't know if he's ever read a comic book, has no clue what's going on in the MCU or anything. And pretty much, I mean, he'll go see Batman movies, but. Anyway, him and but him and about his one of his buddies and him went. His buddy wanted to go see the movie, so they went Saturday, uh, Friday, and he said, "Well, it was this is." I mean, he goes, "I said, well, how was?" It? He said, "Well, it's, it was he was funny as hell, you know. It was funny." He said, "But it's I had funny. no, I had no idea what was going on the entire time. I didn't." He goes, "There was some, you know, some this coon ass guy that." Through cards uh, and I went gambit and he goes yeah so I was so he was I love that's coon ass is like my new favorite term yeah <laughs> because of Bill right don't anybody get offense uh, 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 offended because you grew up where I did that's that, that's a, a badge of honor to uh, moniker <laughs> and I'm one it's for it so okay <laughs> okay and you if you're down in, if you're in Southwest Louisiana. You know what you know what I'm talking about, all right? So, actually, <laughs> y'all hold your horses there. Okay, check yourself, Cajun, Cajun. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, and <laughs> and he said, uh, you know, and there was like that chick that Ben Affleck was 
used to be Mary too. And I went, Electra was in it. And he's you know, goes, I don't know. <laughs> you know. All right, sorry. Sorry, spoiler. Spoiler alert. I don't care. I mean, who's gonna look that's it that was also look. leaked a long time ago. That was leaked like a year ago. Yeah. I mean, people let's be honest. I mean, if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably a Batman fan first and foremost. You're probably a DC fan secondly. And then you're like overall Marvel, whatever DC is third or, or down the line. And you probably have already seen the movie. All right. Well, that sounds like me and Javi to a T. <laughs> so anyway, quickly, because I want to get to Batman. And, and this is what I heard. Just for my, this is my take from the, I've read the, so I've read several reviews and people's reactions. And it mm-hmm. seems like it was a big old, um, uh, Easter egg cameo uh, fan service production galore. Am I off base or that or is that? I'm gonna let Javi my, go first. My my, I, I, my I'm gonna say from, that's yeah. that's accurate. They it feels like they looked at what Flash did and what the reception was for the Flash and tried to steer clear of certain things. That's a good and, call. I'm with you on that. And you know, give give impact to to certain other elements and let those yeah. elements shine. But I mean, the the when my kids were little, like I showed them all the X Men movies, but we watched them all over the last two three months, and they really didn't remember like ninety percent of them. So just watching all the Wolverine appearances to get to this movie was time consuming. But it goes beyond just that, where the where the movie takes a story. Like you've had to have been paying attention for over twenty five years to catch every little detail and nuance and, and get a full appreci- appreciation. So what are which, they going, which isn't the general audience. There's gonna be a lot of stuff. That, are they going are they going from universe to universe or some kind of stuff like that or yeah in sense. In okay. in one point okay. there is a sequence, but it's I really liked it, but it's it's hard to to place it because it's it's an MCU movie that's a lot of it is outside the MCU. It, it, it's kind of hard to tell where and how these other elements are going to be brought in, if at all. So, like, where they go with like the X Men characters or the Fox characters, yeah, I, it doesn't give you any of those answers. And I can see how some people would be really unfulfilled if you're looking for that kind of story, but it's kind of like a wrap up of like the Fox era. It's a love letter. Um, it tries to yeah, be a love it, it's definitely like a love letter to that, especially, you know, the time of duty that Hugh Jackman's put in his Wolverine. Yeah. Okay. Um, for me, it was, it was very Deadpool. It is a Deadpool movie. Um, I thought certain things dragged on for too long. I thought there were too many needle drops. Um, a lot of, the stuff that has to do with Hugh Jackman and his Wolverine happened, like Javi said, 20 years ago. And it's making me remember things that happened in the past. And it's, there's really that, that motivate that emotion. It doesn't come from this version of, of Logan. It's some other version of Logan. I just, it doesn't, it didn't resonate with me as much as I thought it felt like a music video. Um, It's like, Oh, we're going to put a really popular song on top of Wolverine and Deadpool, literally just kicking the shit out of either themselves or something else. Um, the cameos were the best part. The Affleck joke was very good. Um, the disrespect toward the Fantastic Four bothers me. This is the second time uh, I think Feige's been very disrespectful toward the Fantastic Four in a uh, in a multiverse film, uh, and that bothers me. And it, I think it even extends past that now with the information that dropped yesterday. Uh, it's very strange to me. I I I think it at times felt like an episode of Loki more than an MCU movie. Um. And like I get why people like it, and I do think it's funny. There were a lot of jokes; they did land. Some cool, some things were cool, but it was a lot of like fan service, and it's just. I think the two other Deadpool movies are a lot better. I mean, um, Deadpool has always been been about fan service from before, like that first movie came out. Yeah, the breaking like that, of fourth wall, that, all that jazz. That, that te- well, no, like just like that that teaser, that previs video that they leaked mm-hmm. out. To get the movie made like that was I all just, this is like the will fan Fel- service the will ferrell version of deadpool which is so over the top and deadpool you know there's there's yeah. even additions like i have i have 
12 volumes of Deadpool classics to my right. There are certain comics of Deadpool that are exactly like this movie. And I like those comics less than the stuff that inspired the first two films. That's just, I'm, I'm being very consistent with my take. Um, yeah. And that's just me. And look, I'm not an X-Men guy. So the most I know about the X-Men comes from Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and this run of X-Men. And, you know, like I said, I, it was cool, but at the time, like, I'm like, all right, like, yeah, I remember watching these movies. You're trying to get emotion from watching these old clips and the highlights of old X-Men movies for like exposition about this Wolverine. I'm like, it's just not working. But then they're like, here's a hot song with them killing everybody. And it's like, it's just, it didn't really work for me. So. Okay, that's I, it. I'm happy people are enjoying it, but okay, I'm over uh, the multiverse. I'm done to with wrap it. up Stop. this Wolverine, Deadpool, Deadpool, Wolverine, whatever, 220, 221, whatever it takes. Uh, I have t- just a question. Couple is uh, is there a Green Lantern in it? No. Is there a, is Hawk Girl in it? No, they're the wrong the wrong brand. Is is uh, Metamorpho in it? No. I don't okay. even think there's not even a stretchy guy, but a stretchy guy does get mentioned. He does get okay. mentioned, but there is no stretchy guy. Is okay. All right. Well, at least he's he's taking care and, of that. And there are Perhaps. there are Batman references. Okay. Right? I was hoping I think so. you know. I don't remember. Okay. I was, you know, just wondering, maybe uh Mr. Terrific or whatever. So no, I, well, yeah, you're naming all the wrong characters, but they're there. Oh. In, in a sense, they're all there. To be honest with you, they're just different okay. characters, <laughs> but they're all there. Okay. This is it's hey, it's if you just just dumped out the toy chest and want to play with some action figures, that's exactly what like okay. the third act. No, I mean, that that is a good analogy. It is a it is a toy box movie. Okay, and it's like how many different Wolverine figures can I get out of you know storage and throw them all together? Or Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. Or Deadpool. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to, we're not leaving MCU Marvel just yet, but I want to that quickly on this. Um, get you, get y'all's takes. I have a hot take. Well, I don't know if it's so hot. I don't, I I don't know if you I have think, a hot I take. I think a lot of people <laughs> agree, may agree with me. I, Robert Downey Jr. is returning to the MCU as wait for it, not a different incarnation or different version from a different universe of Tony Stark slash Iron Man, but as the the classic Fantastic Four villain, Dr. Doom. WTF. I mean, (laughs) my, look, I totally, I expected... I really did. I thought, okay, they're doing this multiverse, different uh, versions of characters with the Marvel. They could bring him back as just a different Tony Stark, whatever. But I don't know. I don't, I'm not emotionally invested in the MCU or the Infinity Saga or whatever to care. You know, I just think it's, it's gimmicky, very gimmicky. And it's kind of like, Okay, we got nothing going on. We we're, we're kind of you know we're stalled out. Uh, no, regardless, I know that this this new movie no stalled out's the right term. You know, they were stalled I, out until now. Th- this new movie excluded, uh, but doesn't doesn't it come across as like okay okay we're going to turn to Robert Downey Jr. He was very popular Iron Man. We'll make him Doctor Doom. Oh uh, look, I literally said this four days ago. I said that they were on DefCon One. <laughs> when they brought back the dynamic uh, doofus duo of the Russo brothers, um, you know, like he's just he, not. All, I think Feige is completely out of ideas, and I think he's trying to salvage this thing. Uh, you know, like I told you guys off air, if if right now Feige was the general manager of a sports team, he probably would have been fired a year ago. Like that's it. Now he's bringing back the old All Star team to try to get a championship back together. Like, does he think he's the? It, it's almost like they, they think they're the Lakers that lost to the Pistons. You know, they think this is going to work. I, I I don't know. It might work. Everyone seems excited on Twitter. I personally don't care. I oh, think this no. is, again, another... Uh, well, I, I saw a lot more people I saw. Ex- I also don't follow a lot of crappy accounts. Like, I limit to who I follow to what I consider decent people. 
Um, uh, so, you know, some people, uh, from what I saw, people were very happy, but uh, Javi has told me certain people who didn't answer the phone, Paul Herman, uh, are very happy <laughs> about this. Um, but I think this is, he's completely out of ideas. I, I, I don't think he has any idea what he's doing at this point. And he's really trying to throw, uh, throw it at the wall here. Um, I know that, uh, what's his name? Majors really put him, uh, what's it called? A, a wrench in the gears and screwed things up for them. And yeah, but, I think I think things were screwed up before them, but I think now yeah. they're so reactionary. This is almost like a Warner Brothers move, like so reactionary that way. Um, it, it, instead of just it, that's a, good, a little bit, yeah, that's a good a little call, bit man. There, yeah. It, yeah, it's a little bit but, there. I mean, I, with who they brought back for Deadpool Wolverine, uh, basically since No Way Home, it's been the same gimmick over and over again. Uh, Multiverse of Madness, even. Uh, I just, I, I, man, I think he is really just at the end here. You know, and with everything that's going on at Disney, like did some didn't some head honcho suit tie sell all his stock, and like Iger's got more control. I no, think no, things no. are shaking the ground. Ike Perlmutter did, which was a good thing because okay. that guy was it's in flux. That guy was messing everything up. The reason that we had that fallow period in the comics and for toys for X Men and Fantastic Four mm -hmm. was because of Perlmutter's. Okay, um, he was pissed off with Feige and not being able to but own all as, of it. And as was, Warner brothers, DC fans, we know what happens when companies yeah. have executive shifts and all that jazz, everything yeah. gets a lot more murky. You have a lot more cooks in the kitchen and half of them want to cook McDonald's. So you got to be really concerned here. <laughs> in my opinion, that, that's all it is to be honest with you. Well, I mean, I don't think there's a huge amount of interest in this, you know, whatever that majors dude was playing. You know, whatever character what was he? What was he? Uh, uh, it was hyped up by the know. cinephile thespians of superhero Twitter. You know, he was one. He he, he like kind of captivated that group. Um, but Majors, like he, I don't know, he was kind of on the rise, right? He did that Apollo Creed kid movie. Well, that's, right? the, that's the only way he I was Creed know. Three. From, he yeah, he was Creed in Creed Three. three and then he, yeah. uh, yeah. if you're if you're a fanboy and you're obsessed and you're following Loki, you got everyone was really oh Majors' role in Loki was really great. Like literally, he did that role, then he got fired. So it's like it was the biggest tease in the world, you okay. know. So then yeah. people got well, hooked was, on that. It was but then Ant again, Man like, three, and then Loki. and there's that too. Yes. Yeah, so and so you was, had that big. Tease, they were force feeding him a lot. The everything since Endgame has been. Ten. It doesn't. It didn't have the the cohesiveness. Like they were expanding out the brand, which was good, and trying new things because that was a good time to do it. But when people wanted that through line, like nothing was connected. There was no momentum. Mm -hmm. really building towards king not like we had with thanos where he's like do this for me okay you didn't do it i guess i'm gonna have to do it myself okay i'm coming okay i'm coming but i also think it's really stupid to bring back iron man as Doctor. you Mr. didn't have any of that with the king stuff and now when that when they decided to part ways with them it was a hot mess and i don't remember who reported it if it was boris kit or or someone else that there are rumors about downey and evans coming back to do talks with marvel they definitely, like, well, had those they, well, now definitely we they definitely had those conversations so what stupid character is evans gonna play we we thought well name i'm not some, gonna say name i'm not gonna say who villain. evans played because in case you haven't gone well, well, I, I don't think that's who you okay well okay maybe that was maybe i was thinking maybe they had an idea like okay we bring him if we bring him back in a larger role but okay no, i, I want to know this tell me tell me off mic after we're done here that's fine chris okay but, okay but i mean <laughs> The Russos haven't had any kind of success outside of Marvel, at least yeah, critically. Yeah, you mean Dupree? <laughs> and uh, and and yeah, Downey Downey is Downey. And so the question is, what what is he? What are they doing here? Because they I just said Doctor Doom. They didn't, as far as I know, they didn't say Tony Stark, Stark variant. Right. They didn't specify that he's Victor Von Doom. So. What are that we means doing he's here? Be a fantastic from, four, from, by the way. And from what I've seen, it's it, Twitter is like as many people that are excited, like and shocked, like Nico. You've got the the Paul Hermans of the world who are like, "This is no, this is not a good thing. This is it's stupid. This opinion. is desperation, and this is their chance to do classic Doctor Doom right, bring him into the MCU, and instead, they're they're you know going for this hail mary that may or may not." you know, connect. And that's like Bill and I have talked about before, like with Superman, with the James Gunn Superman, like they have to get this right. Agreed. Because you haven't had a successful, both financially and critically 
Superman movie since 1982 or whatever, mm-hmm. whenever year Superman two came out mm-hmm. because it just went declining with three and four returns. 81, didn't, I think returns didn't light, you know, the world on fire so much so <laughs> that they had to reboot again with man of steel. Then and you that, get the pitch for all, Yeah. We all know what happened with that. And like outside of TV where Superman seems to flourish with 10 seasons of, of Smallville and four of Superman and Lois and then Lois popular and cartoon that. right now, you know, he, he works on that, but for a big screen thing, like if gun doesn't get Superman, right. Why would you ever invest again in a Superman movie? I think he scale? gets like you wouldn't. Think... And it's the same thing for the fantastic four. You've had three mediocre movies at best. And this is supposed to be their flagship family. Yeah. This is the the family that the launched the Marvel up. Universe. You know, Captain yeah. America came before in Timely Comics. That's totally different than when Marvel became Marvel with Stan Lee mm-hmm. and Jack Kirby on Fantastic Four. Yes. Like, this yeah. is their first thing. And if you can't nail this, then it, there's no point to, like, keep trying I, over I, and over. I, I actually I mean, it's weird. I'm not, I'm not very positive. I, this weird doom thing i yeah i think that um i got so many things thinking i mean i can go off on a tangent about this is what you get with the shared universe when it when it all comes to an end let's be i mean the mc was lightning in a bottle it was a happening yeah. it was organic i think it's i think it organically not, it's con- proved that it's not contrived and now even this is is they're in the same boat as warner brothers trying to recreate the original MCU that you know success They're the victims of their own success yes absolutely they honestly should end game absolutely reboot that's how it should have gone they really I should mean, have just and it's look look it's a lot easier to to reboot individual characters than it is a whole freaking universe because it's just again this was a this all combined one really one thing over multi multiple films and TV and whatever is it, it was just again it was a happening and there I don't I think was it telling somebody yesterday happened again I've been, I've been dealing with multiverse hopping uh, superhero content since Flash season two I am done I'm over it I don't want to see if I want to watch anybody go in any timeline or anything I'm going to pop him back to the future I am so tired and this includes the flash and I love Keaton but I'm like I'm just fed up with the multiverse I'm tired of seeing variants it just seems like these characters are out of place sometimes like I see all these cameos and I'm like in in like 10 years are these going to even matter like are people going to pop in these movies like I don't get it like what's the big like for me yeah I get it, it was my childhood but like is that the flash is this you just grasping at straws trying to get my money because now I'm a millennial yeah. who has mean, a job and cash? Well, it's, well, um, what about Spider-Verse for you, Peter? I don't like Spider-Verse. No, like the, the movies. You didn't like the movies? They're okay to me. I, oh. I, I, I'm... I, I'm a Peter Parker Spider, Spider right? fan. It's okay. And then I think they, again, there's a lot, in some instances, I think there's disrespect to characters I love in these variant movies. Like the uh, Scarlet Spider in the last Spider-Verse I thought was appalling. Th- yeah. That bothers me as a fan of Ben Riley and as a fan of Scarlet Spider, you know? And at some point I'm tired of watching a million Spider-Men trying to catch the other Spider-Man. I want to watch Spider-Man fight the Rhino, Electro, uh, I, the Kingpin. I want to see him do little things like that. Stop a jewelry store robber. The same goes to Batman. Like, I just want to watch Batman do Batman things. I want to watch Superman do Superman things. I want to watch yes. Superman fight Metallo. You know, like it's that's I, it, and everyone's like, "You like solo?" You, I like they can be interconnected for all I care, whatever. But like again, I read issues on the character. I focus on the individual yeah. characters. That's the stuff I want. I don't read Justice League. Sorry, I did I like the Spider Verse films. I am not a fan of MCU Spider Man. Uh, but speaking of which, Spider Man has solo film films have yeah. proven they the character can be rebooted. And people are interested. Batman, solo Batman has been rebooted. People are interested. We're right in the midst of we're gonna to get to we're gonna to get to Batman, folks, here very shortly. I'm okay? always curious, is that honestly like what would the reboot of Iron Man do? That's a good question. That would open I mean, would the, you the, even it opens up a reboot a new of tangent. the whole we saw what that hold did. on, 
Hold on. We got to get, we got to, I got to bring this back in here. Okay. That's a, that's a good topic. That's a good topic. We're going to leave that for a, uh, let's do that on a, a, what a satellite show or something, but you just got me off my, my train of thought, Pete. Thank you very much. Here I am hosting, hosting my ass off and Pete threw it. <laughs> speaking of monkey wrenches, threw it in there. Oh, Superman. I think Gunn, to speak to what Javi said, I think Gunn is going to really get to the essence of Superman and what people like about Superman. But two things. I think adding these characters, these non-Superman characters, all in the name of a shared universe. And let's be honest, that's what it is. If this, if you're just making a Superman film, you didn't have to have freaking guy Gardner green lantern in here and the rest of them um i don't care if the, i don't care how much it's part of the story it works for the story and the you know all these excuses people give it's like okay batman begins let's have batman begins and then have freaking sinestro show up in it just you know just because just because you know it worked in the story whatever so and i don't think that Superman is appealing overall to the general audience. I just, I don't. I mean, that's, it, yes, it, the shows have been successful, but those are niche shows with a very specific audience. So, yeah, and then you got everything, you've got, they're not even allowing Superman to, this the movie, to, to it's got to be a huge hit or everything is yeah. effed. Yeah, where it, it it can't be a modest a modest success like Batman Begins or yeah Batman Begins and then grow on people through home it, home it, video and then you know and, and then you make a sequel because people liked it it was re reviewed well and it it's Man like of Steel financially work, was a modest success yeah but it wasn't embraced by the general public that that take. Same thing for, embraced. I mean, you can say the same and, thing about Superman Returns. Modest yeah. hit. I think they would have been better off in both cases with those. It's just, let's just make the damn sequel and we'll yeah. go from there instead of panic and anyway. All right. But you had Begins, which was a modest success. Yes. But the general story. audience embraced it and discovered yes. it in other media or like yeah. home video. And the last two Superman solo movies didn't get that. So this needs to go beyond that right off the bat because there isn't time for it to like people to discover it on streaming in three months. You'll, yeah. There will never be another film like Batman Begins in terms of just catching the audience on home video. I think that'll be the last of its kind. I don't think any, I don't, I, because I, I, I don't think they'll look at that and streaming sales in terms of like, okay, this is it. We'll make the money back. I think, I think if, if this super movie has a Batman Begins like around, I think it's just dead. What lot more patience at Warner Brothers at that time, especially, you know, they really wanted to be in the Chris Nolan business. And yes, and I would say certainly say the home video. Well, uh, and the, the problem the home too video is physical results. media sales are yeah. declining. Mm -hmm. They're not dying, but they're yeah. declining yeah. because we stream so much now. But, you know, so it's like, how do you quantify? I don't have to buy a DC movie, man. They're always on Max. Yeah. Like, I, I haven't I bought do, one I, forever. It's kind of crazy. I haven't imagine? bought Black Adam. I, I haven't bought yeah. Blue Beetle. I'm, yeah. But if I want imagine, to watch them, I, I have it on Max. Imagine yeah. if they had just pulled, you know, they had just panicked and said, okay, we're not going to do, we're going to, we'll do something else with Batman. We'll reboot it again, you know, after Batman begins. We wouldn't have the Dark Knight trilogy, which is, I mean, think about that. All right, Batman. I don't this want is to Batman on film. <laughs> I was just gonna say I don't want to. God yeah. damn it! All right, <laughs> I like, think about I the like world without trilogy. Nolan. No, no, yes. it's like Justin Kowalski's dream world without <laughs> Nolan. I don't want to dream of that world. Let's take a quick pause in this podcast for these words from our sponsor. Uh, what are you want to do first, Batman Cape Crusader or the Penguin Slash the Batman Part Two? I'll leave it to Pete. Cape Crusader. All right, Batman K Crusader. Several people have watched, if not the the pilot, they've watched the all ten. I guess some some members of the press were able to binge it. They got all ten. Yeah, yeah. some people have wow. seen all ten. And okay, the reviews have been really good, mm -hmm. really good. 
Great. I get. I guess what, and it comes out when Wednesday. Wednesday oh, uh, Thursday, oh, right? Thursday. Okay, this week. So, yeah, yeah we got to get. Speaking of that, uh, podcast. We're going to podcast for those, or how are we going to do it, Pete? Come on, we got to. We'll, we'll talk about it later. We're, we're, yeah, we're going to have. Podcasts I've, been talk, I've been talking to Patrick okay. about it. So okay, we'll figure we're, it out. we're going to have. We're going to have podcasts about Batman Cape Crusader. I'm going to do a written review. I think I'm going to do the, I'm going to binge the whole season and then write a review. Mm-hmm. Um, but what the, the big news was that uh, the ping one is a chick named Oswaldo. 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 Duh. Oswaldo. Oswaldo Cobblepot. Just now we know who Mini Driver is. And Mini, uh, voiced Ooh. by Mini Driver. Yes. Ooh. And, she I doesn't said, look good, but she's going to sound sexy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, my reaction, it honestly was like, okay, okay. You know, even, I, I laughed. I, 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 I poked fun at it. I said, you know, let the meltdown begin when I posted the Batman on film story on, on uh, social media. But and there has been some melting down. i you know, how do you, I, it doesn't bother me. Okay. I yeah. think the name is a little silly. I wouldn't, you know, they could have gone maybe with something else, cobble pot, you know, with an O that's more a traditional O name, a female name that starts with O. But I mean, I, <laughs> I don't care. It's it, I'm fine. Okay. It's all right. I wonder, I does she have a twin brother? <laughs> maybe so. I don't know. Who um, knows? My Twitter kind but, of blew up with this. And, she's uh, the penguin, oh, you know. All I did was laugh. I was like, all, right. all right, Pete. I, I've already remember record. I don't care. That's fine. It, it doesn't, doesn't bother really bother me. me. No. Um, I, I I am interested as to why they chose the penguin to gender swap. I'm just curious. Like I, I there's a reason clearly why they did this. I'm just curious as to what the reason is. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, I'm I'm very actually very interested to see what they do now with this little twist. Um, I is Batman going to punch the penguin? Like <laughs> she's a large woman. She looks like she actually outweighs Batman. So at that point, I think, you know, in terms of weight class, I think it is <laughs> it's, it's to do something different. They ha- that hasn't been yeah. done before. And I, still- I, I don't understand doing something different just to do it differently though. Like it, that's weird. There's got to be some sort of, because to, to well, we're, we're, yeah, we're, not, cre- we're not creatives. You know? Oh, okay. That explains it. Yeah, I'm not. Yes. I'm not I guess I'm not creative enough. That that makes a lot of sense. All right. Well, I, I I'm mean, glad I, I, these guys... a, a creative. You know. <laughs> I, I'm... Okay. Well, I think creatively, it's a stupid idea. Uh, but it's also not a big deal. But like again, just like why? Why'd you do it? I haven't like, watched I the panel at all. But just given how Two Faces facial damage is swapped, that and, has bothered so many people. <laughs> and and Harley Quinn is they're flipping her personality too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's just a way to distinguish them from the countless animated series that came before and to, because Batman looks so much like the Tim version that we got from the BTAS yeah. universe. Yeah. Like they got to give something to make it stand apart is Unique. what I feel like. Okay. Because I, otherwise I, it, it, I, it looks so, the Harley so Quinn stuff doesn't bother me. Stuff. This doesn't bother me either, but like, yeah, this, I question this way more than the quits. I'm like, what, why, why'd you do this stuff? Like, it just makes no sense. Like, I, 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 I would just think I, it's to stand out. Yeah. Probably. Well, yeah. Probably I mean, right. look, weird Alfred thing. is more of a nod to the Alfred uh, Beagle version of the character. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Far as, as far as aesthetic. And I'm fine with that because, again, Alfred's actually been, that's actually been an Alfred. Right. Uh, so yeah. in my, in my yeah. mind, that's totally acceptable. Like at one point, Bat, off, I mean, look, before he went to we, fat camp, that's what he looked like. <laughs> we read comic books where, you know, you had Flashpoint Joker was Martha Wayne. Oh, oops. Yeah. Spoiler alert. You've had wasn't too. I haven't uh, in Earth one. Two face was a female. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because she was she was the sister. Yeah, she, yeah. Were, were they twins yeah. or were they just siblings? I don't. I can't remember. But she I don't remember but, either. But Two Face was the character. That's right. Yeah. Was was woman. It doesn't bother I me. I mean, about that. Yeah, don't that care. one didn't bother me at all because I was like, well, they did Harvey. Like Harvey's there. Like you know, there was there was that kind yeah. of cool twist. Um. Yeah. No. Again, this doesn't bother me. But I just, I'm just curious as to what the reasoning is. Is all. To be honest, that's all. I, I I really just think it's it's 85 years. How are we going to make this different from mm-hmm. 
the hundred that almost bothers me because it's like well what if, yeah the character has been this way for 85 years this is this is the character that's that's yeah. the weird part because yeah, well I look at again, it standing the, the test well, me, of time like this I'll is who the character back is. a little bit on that and say batman has over this 85 years has had numerous incarnations uh he's a very he's mm. a moldable character yeah. I, I just think this is part of it i think it's okay. just part of it you know i think um it's, it are, has not turned me off from watching like i'm still really hyped yeah i mean they're show. changing they've you know from what i've read the uh, you know it's a different take on even bruce wayne batman than we've seen mm. before you know which I, is I, you know I, long as I, I have to wonder, given given who's involved also I yeah. have to wonder if this is to distinguish it from the Batman saga, where they're making, you know, arguably a definitive I, I, that's penguin a interpretation mm -hmm. right now. And so it's like, let's have a penguin that's different in the cartoon. Which is the so opposite of what they did in Betas, right? They molded yeah. that penguin yeah. after the cinematic that's penguin. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a, good, that's that's a great cool. point. I don't wonder if, yeah. like, if that was like, maybe Reeves had something to do with that. And he's like, yeah. I'm doing this penguin over here. Let's try something over here. Because... I got into a little bit of a Twitter argument with a friend of mine. I was like, dude, Reeves is in charge of Batman. I'm just, just saying. Like, he's calling the shots there. He's like, no, 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 no. I was like, no, I'm telling no. you. Yeah. Gun well, kind of looks like he gun is. reports um, to Reeves on Batman. Not I wouldn't yeah. say gun reports to Reeves, but Reeves is like, I'm doing that. You can you can wait. Yeah. Hands off until I'm done. So S speaking of the penguin. All right. So anyway, we finish up here. Uh, K Crusader comes this week. Watch for B, uh, BOF's coverage. Uh, there will be some. I just got to get the other Come boys get to some. The, the, the podcast side of that. I can't but wait. I'll, I'll have the written review. I'm going to binge that son of a gun uh, come uh, Thursday, Friday. I hope there's All a Green right. Lantern in it for you. That's got to be. If, it, if there's no Green Lantern, it's, you know, the whole thing is a POS. It can just, you know, go up itself. Well, it's got to have a stretchy guy to at least. Yeah, well, I got to have a stretchy guy, stretchy guy, and uh, let's you know, if ambush bug. I just watched the episode. <laughs> me and Hobby watched the episode of uh, Brave and the Bold, and ambush or bug was in it might fall. So, uh, yeah, I'm all about literally ambush jump the bug shark, getting in there. All right, <laughs> uh, the penguin had a big panel at uh, Comic Con as well, and basically they dropped a trailer. And Matt Reeves was there and uh, some of the other, I think, I don't know the whole lineup. I know Colin Farrell was there virtually. Did he, was he there live virtually or was he, it, or he was he there when he introduced the thing like we saw online, you know, introduced the trailer. I probably, no, that was that it. I don't know. I haven't seen any panel footage from this. Okay. Year. So Thanks, uh, algorithm. Anyway, <laughs> the main thing was they dropped the trailer. Then it was online right afterwards. Since the third trailer, I look as far as that. I'm I, I'm I'm good. I, I've seen it. I'm yeah. ready. I did not watch the third here. trailer. I didn't watch it. I refused oh, to. Okay. I'm not, no, dude, I'm ready to go. I just I want the show. I don't even want, I don't want anything new for spoiled. Honestly, like it's I'm just ready. I'm so pumped for this. I just want to see that show, man. I just want to watch. I think it. there was really anything more spoilery or yeah. Like they make you a little bit more intrigued, honestly. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of like plot. There's not any more plot revealed than there were in the other trailers. It's just a, a little more of like expansion of what the characters are that we're going to mm -hmm. see. Nah, I can wait for the show, man. I'm ready. But, I'm ready. Know, dude. I'm so dude, the big news. The big I don't need news, a taste test. I would say is that it debuts on the 19th of September. Eight episodes, and Matt Reeves. Uh, did they say if it was confirmed. weekly, Bill, or is it all at once? It, I think it. I think it's weekly. Okay, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I mean, I don't. Just knowing, like, usually a lot of the Max stuff, you know, it and HBO, and and they're billing as an HBO thing. Uh, it's you know, it's it's a series, you know, weekly. So, oh I, my I'm, god, yeah, tasty. Oh yeah. So, 19th of September, we're going to be covering that as well. Now, other news. Matt Reeves says, and it was no shock to me whatsoever, it should be no shock to anybody who listens to this podcast, because I've said it many times over the <laughs> last couple of years, um, Colin Farrell will return for the Batman Part 2 as Oz Cobblepot, a.k.a. the Penguin. And so we know he doesn't die. 
Yes. Well, <laughs> they kill that penguin. So they, he didn't have glue. I mean, glue, goo, black goo coming out of his mouth and falling. Well, he into he a might. We don't know. We've never, have we ever seen this penguin? All right. He might believe um, that glue. Uh, I've said, and y'all can confirm that I'm not BSing, that I've always said I believe that the penguin, the the Joker character, Selena, uh, Nashton will be throughout this saga will be there will yes. be core characters of it yeah. and um colin farrell's penguin even though he you know he said well i only worked like eight days and you know he felt like he's in the whole thing even yeah. though he's you know he's because he's in it you see him throughout he's the peppered. film yes yeah. absolutely um so there you have that and other than that matt reese said that you know, uh, they'll start filming next year so that was all right. it for Here the, we go. For all I, that. What do you? Well, I mean, any? I mean, yeah, you can comment. I'm, I'm excited. Look, I mean, the yeah. penguin's coming. Uh, I'm glad Farrell's gonna be back for the penguin. I mean, that's great. I mean, they gave him his own show. I, I didn't expect him to actually bite the bullet here. You know, I, I expect him to be a big part of this going forward. Um, you know, I, I, I just, I'm, I, I'm just pumped, man. Let's bring it on. I, I can't wait for this show. Cape Crusader's another thing I'm excited for. This. Is, we've kind of been in a dry spot with Batman for a while to to get both of these kind of simultaneously. That's awesome. I can't wait. I'm ready to, I'm, I'm like you guys, I'm ready to watch this on a weekly basis and just kind of dedicate this in Sunday gravy. Probably anything <laughs> like did, did any of this news other than the date, you know, we knew it was September, but like yeah. anything go, wow. Or, you know, or you go, yeah, I mean, come on. I figure, I figure yeah. This. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, it feels like the news feels like old news in a sense, yeah. you know, and, and that's because you've been paying attention. Yeah. And, but it, it doesn't matter because like like you and i have talked about on batman animation it's like we're, we're getting cape crusader in a week and then the following month penguin and then we're, we're gonna watch penguin at home and then go see joker 2 in the theater mm -hmm. and by the time like all that's done like the batman part two is going to start filming and we're going to start yeah. seeing you know yeah. set photos and it's it's a good time man i'm 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 here for all of it i'm way more yeah. excited about what dc is doing this um, speak than their marvel I, counterparts i am yeah, um 100 i wish that dc was doing the batman saga slash joker joker 2 model where i i don't want the else just you know i gotta take i got a strong filmmaker do it you know, go. Yeah. Not the interconnected, all that stuff. Uh, it just, it's what they're doing with the Batman saga is way more interesting to me than, than, than the DCU stuff. But that's again, for me, another... it's, it's honestly, and I believe, like, didn't you post something along the lines where Tim said everyone's doing an interconnected large universe? Like, yeah. I kind of don't want to. There that's was that kind of, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, everyone's doing this. Everyone's doing this from the MCU to Kong versus Godzilla. Like I am so fed and yeah, and that's another Warner Brothers property. So they're doing this with all their properties. I'm fed up with large uh, team ups and the multiverse. Like, can we just move on to something different, smaller scale? I don't, you know, I don't need the world. To be, certain certain heroes don't need to save the world. They don't need to save yeah. the universe. Yeah, you know. All right. So um, there you have that. Lots of Batman stuff coming. Uh, Joker two I, will be here before you know it. There was a reference in the yeah. trailer, uh, the Penguin trailer, since Pete hasn't watched it, but um, that made me want to reread Dark Victory. Nice. So, well, go, I mean, it's it's, good, it's out I'm there. Sure. Yeah, I mean, they they referred to Sophia going to Arkham because she was the hangman. Mm -hmm. So given that this, like, what does that mean in the context of the Batman saga? Because yeah. like the hangman was like dark victory was after long Halloween. And so that it's like, okay, so are we going to see Harvey Dent now? Like, mm -hmm. how does this all tie into, was there a holiday before what's out? What's this Alberto going to be like? Yeah. So there, but just to see like, that could just be her mafia name, dude. You yeah, know, I like, mean, you know, Long Halloween like gets really the a wrench. lot of love. <laughs> and it's nice to see that Dark Victory is getting some recognition, too. I know, I know Lauer's, you know, giddy over any Long Halloween reference, and rightfully so. But it, it's cool to see Dark Victory get a little bit of sunshine. And and I don't, it, it's cool that we're getting more of just the Falcons, because he's been name-dropped before, and 
and begins and that other show that we're not going to talk about. So it's, it's nice to see some of the other family and, and what we're going to get, you know, going forward. And, and well, yeah, before this we Sophia move on, doesn't look like the comic one. Before we move on. Uh, I do want to mention about this, that one of the things that uh, Reeve said was that um, there's part of the one. I don't know if it's a certain episode or but any, anyway, something was written for the Batman part two. They're actually using in the penguin. Oh, instead. Great. So that I would lo love to know what it is. I don't know if we'll find out. Maybe we will once the Batman, you know, Batman part two comes out. And they it's can, like can this Reeve us. stuff, man. It is so focused. It is, uh, it is focused on one thing and one thing alone, telling a Batman story. Yeah. It's almost refreshing at this point, dealing with, with, with what every studio was trying to force feed us with now. Um, I, I, it's, it's just, it's just a breath of fresh air. They're just focused on one thing. And that's the one character that's Batman. And well, this is like the great connectivity that I want. Yeah. You know, like, I like how we've got, because these movies take so long to make, it's nice that we have these other side things that are going to funnel into the main thing, be it Riddler Year One or the Penguin TV show. This mm -hmm. is what Marvel tried to do with their streaming stuff and didn't work out. And it's it's kind of, it's because they tried to think I'd do it with so many different characters, She-Hulk, Falcon, all this stuff. Whereas this is literally like, okay, we're just this one sector. Again, it's focused. I think that's yeah. really important, you know, and you, we've also heard numerous rumors about the MCU and their writers. They're just, they're just running them dry and there's just not enough and they're too overworked and all that jazz and whatever. But it's like, it's, yeah, like these guys are just, here we go. We got Batman. This is it. Let's do Batman stuff. You know, you're not trying to, okay, well, Batman, well, how do we connect Batman to Green Arrow? And how do we connect Batman to Flash? And how do we connect Batman to, you know, uh, the Terrifics and all that? Like, at some point, I just think you just, you just burn yourself out trying to force it to work. Okay, we're going back and then it's, okay, then why, you, yeah, exactly. Why do you have to have Green, uh, Green Lantern and freaking Superman film with Hawk Girl and Mr. Terrific and Metamorpho and mm -hmm. who in the hell else is in there? It's. You know, like, I, I don't know. Like you could, what? you could have. Well, you know why? Well, because all characters with like this is a shared universe. That's why. Eradicator okay. with okay. steel. Okay. You know, like I just. <laughs> I am not okay. I am not going down that rabbit hole again. All right, real quick to finish up. Absolute Batman comic books. Um, oh God. Hope you know got two hundred dollars. We got a little detail about it. Uh, so Batman is not super rich. He's an engineer. Am I right? Yeah, I just I just found uh, some stuff about Absolute Batman that they revealed in some screenshots. He's a city engineer. Okay, so classic Batman is 6'2", 210 pounds. This Absolute version is 6'6", and 250 pounds. In his young 20s, he has a French bulldog named Frenchie. Yeah. Uh, Alfred is former MI6. He looks like the Earth One Alfred. Um, and, uh, I guess his nickname is Penny and black mask is going to be like one of the main, main villains here. Uh, I think guys named Snyder should not work on Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am, I'm actually interested. I am not interested in this at all. No way. This to me, I was like, here they're sticking a guy in a suit again. We just did this with Robo Gordon. But I was like, I'm like, no, you're another guy who's out of ideas. Well, what I mean, are you Batman's, doing? Batman's always in a suit. What are you talking about? He, he, but you know what I mean. He looks now. He looks this big bulk. I don't know, dude. It just feels but it, like it doesn't crap. look like it's like an Iron Man suit or anything. No, it doesn't. Have... But he, just, I don't know. He just looks so big and weird. It, it looks but you really like bigger than the dude. It's like why Bruce the... is so bulky. Yeah, he Ultimate. looks so bulky as Batman. He looks so thin as Bruce, from what I saw. I don't know. It just oh, no, me. he's he's massive as Bruce. Yeah, the is it? I look at the wrong right picture. Now. I'm like, I don't yeah. know. This just doesn't. This does not seem like. I mean, I man. saw something. They even have him lifting weights. You know, yeah. he's you know. Uh, but you like the, you know, there's been the what the, was it Ultimate Ultimate line with Ultimate Spider Man. I mean. Yeah. But why, I do not like, like Ultimate Spider-Man. No, I don't like it. They killed. I thought you liked that. You were telling me that who was telling the new you Ultimate. Like, oh, yeah, this new one, not the original run. Yeah, there's, there's Volume One. I do not like. Uh, volume Two is actually interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, like, isn't then, he like Peter Parker? Got his powers a different way, and he's yeah, but he's still it's, broke. It's and, you know, you know, it's it's uh, Uncle Ben's around. Aunt May isn't. You know, it's 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 kind of okay, like well, a, what's the difference? 
I'm not interested. How's that? I don't think it sounds. I got you, but I mean, that's (laughs) if someone told you, if someone described this, that that's Ultimate Spider Man. Would you say I'm asking? This is just a question because I don't I don't read it. Well, it's also like you you throw in the writer who's Hickman, who I'm a big fan of. The last time Snyder touched Batman, I think it was really sour. Um, again, this seems like a really weird idea because Batman, again, I think it was Tamaki who just, she made Batman broke and moved him into a uh, Gotham style book brownstone. brownstone. Yeah. So they've already done this before. They've taken all his money and they've, they've, <laughs> it would take, they're, they're going to take his money in the, in the Affleck script. They took all his money and rises. I'm fed up with you making Batman broke. Can Batman just be Batman? How's that? Is he, is he broke? I mean, he's an engineer, so he's got to make some. He's a, yeah, he's broke. Money, he's but he's not, makes as much money as me. He's broke. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I'm gonna get. Look, as much as I did not like some of the stuff Snyder did toward the end, like super heavy, oh, uh, and rough. that who was that that, that last plant, night on Earth that that plant Mr. Man. Bloom. Yeah, some of that. Is he still a zombie, Peter? Because he was in task. He got. He killed. was. He was in, in like task, task force Z. Z. I don't know what he's done since then. I don't remember either. Surprising not in creature commandos. And that's a whole nother tangent I can go on, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> uh, again, I've lost my train of thought because well, of Pete Vera. Let, let me jump in. Like it's, yeah, it's not the mainline Batman. Like yeah. Bruce Wayne is still whatever Bruce Wayne is going to be in the prime DC universe. Oh, I got it now. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, for people who don't like Zdarsky, I'm sorry, he's still on the book. But we're getting fresh blood on Detective uh, with Tom Taylor, who yeah. who's done a lot of good stuff, in my opinion. Who that should make you happy, Pete. He reinvigorated uh, two issues Nightwing. away. Two issues away. Uh, he's coming off a hot run on Nightwing, um, and Philip Kennedy Johnson, who did a fantastic run on on Action Comics and the Hulk, is moving and and yeah, and the Hulk and so many other things. He's moving to Batman and Robin, which I'm thrilled about. Yeah. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm kind of done with what Williamson has been doing. I so, will say Johnson Johnson is big on like DC legacy. I think it's yeah, be good. main, main Batman comics. I think we're in for some good stuff, not just black I, label, yeah. but like the main. No, I'm with books. you. I'm with you. I hope they just, I hope they keep up with the black label, even though now they have this absolute line. And I will say, I remembered now as much as I didn't like, you know, Mr. Bloom and super heavy and that I'm going to carry Joker's head in a jar around the desert. Oh, all that, that didn't stuff. count. And that was, that was black. Light. I know. I know it was still crazy. And then metal. I did not, wasn't a fan of any of the metal. Oh, stuff. Death metal was horrible. Oh yeah. But he I'm still, he still came up with some really good Batman stories, including court of owls, which is a, I mean, he created a modern classic, Batman yeah. villain, even though yeah. it's a group, you know. Yeah. So I, 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 I like Snyder. I mean, I'm reading his Noctara stuff, which I think is actually brilliant. Yeah. But uh, his Batman stuff has been really sour, and uh, yeah, I was wrong on him. He's actually a pretty big dude, uh, Batman in this one. I don't know what promo picture I looked at earlier, but um, I don't know. Just it's just it's something about this just doesn't sit right with me. Uh, maybe it's because of the other characters. Now I, I saw the uh, the promo art for them and. Superman looks drastically different, um, I'm, which I'm interested to see the reaction to that. Because um, I, I remember when people complained about uh, JMS and his Earth One Superman. So this is going to be interesting. And then Wonder Woman looks uh, fairly interesting herself. I just, I don't know. I'm not interested. I want classic Batman. I, I, I think right. That's where I am in my fandom. I just want classic kind of evergreen Batman. Evergreen, you want a Green Lantern and Batman? No, 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 like Evergreen, like you know, just Batman. Simplify Bat, like bring him back to yeah, his basics. I got you. you know, okay, like, all right. Do you have right. that Green Lantern Batman figure from McFarlane that came out a couple months ago? Me, either no. of you or P? No, I no. don't know. No, no, no. From like what was it? Two pages and a Green Lantern issue where he got the ring for just a hot uh, minute. No, I do not. Yeah. The last no. actually, the the last McFarlane's I bought, I bought the new Tim Drake. The Joker uh, punchline two pack, and uh, oh, nice. the uh, Alan Napier uh, uh, Alfred. Those are my McFarland per- that I'm waiting on. All right, all right, boys, let's get the hell out of here um, quickly with the plugs, and we shall uh, move on and let announcer Rachel finish up. All right, uh, Pete, go, go. 
you got that uh, you can follow now. me personally at pete illustrated i have various shows uh, uh, at straight underscore O underscore G straight out of Gotham at Spidey Coalition, uh, Titan Spider Man Coalition. Uh, I appear monthly on Brian Lauer's Batman Book Club, and uh, I'm all over Batman film. Who's Brian Lauer? Uh, the host say. of the Batman Book Club, Brian Lauer. Oh, I thought you were about Brian Low- Lowry. Remember that nonsense? Oh, that might be his twin. No, more like his uh, cousin. I don't know. Okay. Friends, okay. Or... okay. All right. That's good stuff there. Bobby, anything? Uh, the James Bond dossier.com. I've got reviews for the 007 comic. Uh, I need to catch up on those. Uh, up to speed with Wally West. I'm sorry, the flash up to speed with Wally West on YouTube, where I've just break down Wally's run starting in the eighties issue by issue and all over Batman dash on dash film.com with reviews for Batman and Robin Catwoman, uh, 50 Batman, the brave and the bold, um, lots of cool Batman comics coming up. And of course you've got, uh, I've got YouTube video for the Batman forever sonar suit hot toy that I just got last month and Batman animation where did we... you do something on local dining? No, no, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my back. No, 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 I, no I'm going to do, you know, pizza reviews now for, uh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just Batman on film. We got tons of Batman animations <laughs> that came out. Bill and I just did the 50th episode of Batman <laughs> animation where we talked about the brave and the bold, uh, the finale might fall. Oh, and that was, that was a lot of fun. And yeah, I guess we're going to be talking about Cape Crusader coming up. Um, so stay tuned. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, Batman dash on dash film dot com and this will show y'all so you get reaction we'll be framing putting this up today wow cbs nice. got you covered <laughs> and also that one's that really one. cool i yeah. like that one it's so, a good one k crusader poster if you're because it's not video and uh, i got the penguin the penguin poster you're gonna hang them in the living room next to the wedding picture you know i'm married quick, to quick tangent <laughs> Quick yeah. tangent before we get out of here. Lots of toys got revealed this weekend. Was there anything Batman related that caught you? I didn't eye? see anything, so I'm not sure. Uh I'm for me, sure. obviously it's the Batman Forever Batmobile. Yeah. Um, it looks very impressive. I will say the lights are green and not blue. That's uh that is a, that's an issue. That's is that a weird. McFarlane uh, thing. Yeah, that's a Kowalski issue. Yeah, it, it comes with Michael Goth. It does, but okay. I didn't see that. Okay, I saw that. That was in our the rims don't move like in the movie. Yeah, so the rims stay stationary and they light up, so it's different. The original Kenner car, the the wheels move, the 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 rims move with the wheels and their stickers. Where in this new McFarlane car, the wheels actually light up like in the film. So, it's uh, it's a debate whether I buy it or not. Okay, I'm I'm still thinking about it. If he makes up a light, let me ask you this: we will go. Okay, is there enough stuff? coming hobby that batman merchandise related that would be worth uh a podcast to discuss yeah i think so there, okay there's some hot toy reveals there's uh oh god yeah joker mcfarland figures too from okay the joaquin phoenix yeah okay let's uh work on that or will you and we'll, right, do, yeah. we'll do that because i i would like i would do it as a want to listen to it just from a fan point of view myself personally all right now it's rachel finish up here we'll catch you next time you have been listening to the bof social hour jet's official podcast on batman on film follow bof on threads at the batman on film follow bof on x formerly known as twitter at batman on film to help keep bof up and running go to patreon.com slash batman on film or you can buy bof a beer at buymeacoffee.com slash the real batman on film For Jet and everyone at BOF, I'm announcer Rachel. Authoritative, definitive, the original. Batman on film, founded in 1998. Say goodbye, Graceland.